The miracles of Imam Mahdi, may Allah hasten his reappearance. One of the characteristics of Imam Mahdi will uh, be the power given to him by Allah to perform various miracles. These miracles will be a testament of his divine appointment as Allah, Vicegerent on the earth. Once the Muslims of the world witness the miracles of Imam Mahdi, they will not be able to deny his claim to the Khilafa of the Ummah. One example of the direct help that Imam Mahdi will receive from Allah will be his defeat of Sufyani. Sufyani will be a man from the family of Abu Sufyan and he will emerge from Damascus and conduct a ruthless campaign of bloodshed and mass killing during which thousands of innocent people will be slaughtered. He will be supported by the people of the tribe of Kalb. Sufyani will dispatch his army to Mecca in order to destroy Imam Mahdi. However, Imam Mahdi's army will easily defeat Sufyani's army. Sufyani will then lead a separate contingent of his remaining army to face Imam Mahdi himself. This army will subsequently be destroyed by an enormous earthquake at Beida on the road to Mecca. The rear of the army will be destroyed first, and when the remaining army retreats to see the devastation that has taken place, they will also be destroyed by an earthquake. When news of the manner of the defeat of Sufyani's army spreads, the pious peoples of the world would come to give their allegiance to Imam Mahdi. All doubt will be removed from the hearts of the writers as to the divine mission given to Imam Mahdi by Allah. The spiritual dimensions of Imam Mahdi's leadership. Imam Mahdi will lead the Ummah by promoting righteousness and re-establishing 
the Sharia throughout the world. However, he will not use military might or political persuasion to bring people back to the path of righteousness. He will instead spread a message of spiritual harmony and encourage all the peoples of the world to look inside their hearts and conduct a moral audit of their spiritual well-being. This moral audit will consist of the application of two important aspects of spiritual awareness, Musaiba and Muraqaba. The process of Muhasiba involves an inward examination of one's actions and an assessment of the rights and wrongs of the subsequent behavior according to the principles of the Sharia. Muraqaba, on the other hand, is whereby the individual calculates the number of good and bad deeds perpetrated with a view to changing their behavior. This process of introspection has been used by the Sufis for centuries as means of removing the illnesses of the heart. Once the problems of the heart have been rectified, the individual can then lead a more productive and meaningful life, where the ego is subdued and the needs of the others are put before the individuals. This is the start of the journey and the path to spiritual enlightenment, which will culminate in the true believer making a spiritual connection with their creator. In fact, what Imam Mahdi will be promoting is a continuation of mission of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, who preach a message of personal responsibility based on remedying the individual's heart through a process of continually remembering Allah. Imam Mahdi's message of spiritual revival will be facilitated by the example that he will set for others to follow. Consequently, when people observe the inner peace, and spiritual contentment visible on his face. They will automatically be drawn to his message of spiritual renewal. No other world leader, apart from the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, propagated such a message of a spiritual renaissance. It is commonly not well understood that core of the message brought by the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, was one of the spiritual enlightenment coupled with a practical means on how to achieve this goal.